close, but no cigar. <laughs> Hi, welcome to a special remote edition of Canis Bader Christmas. Now I'm talking a little softly because I am in a highly classified super secret location. We've got a facade set up here. It looks exactly like the side of my house. I have put the prop up there. So imagine we have a 10 foot piece of half inch PVC. Schedule 40, this is not schedule 40. This is schedule 40. Notice the difference. The schedule 40 has got a thicker wall. This is my demonstration piece. So we have schedule 40. We've got our little thing here mounted to the piece of PVC. So how do I get this to stick to the wall or the side of the house? I think I have a solution here. I didn't want to just drill holes in it and stick, you know, like wood screws or something in the side of the house. I wanted something that I could put up, it would it would hold it, it would be sturdy, but at the same time, the 11 months out of the year that I don't have the lights up, I could put something in there so it wouldn't get um, insects or, or all that kind of stuff. I got me some of these. I have a quarter inch bolt. Insert nuts. That's what this is. So the the quarter inch bolt screws into this like that. This you screw into the wood. I've never used these before, but I think it's going to work. So it's, it's metal thread. You basically drill a hole, screw this in with an Allen wrench. Go like that, screw it in and it works. So I'm going to try this. I'm going to try this on a demonstration piece of wood here. I think that's the magic combination there. Not getting any splitting. We have a hole in the PVC. So there's the prototype. So when it's not Christmas season, I can just put a short bolt in there, maybe put a washer with a little rubber gasket on there. Now let's try the real thing. I've got the centerpiece mounted. And so the centerpiece is this window. Yes, I need to do some sanding and painting and recalking. That will be in probably November when it's a little cooler. <laughs> but I just wanted to kind of fit this up there so that it'd be easier to install. So I'm going with kind of a, a curtain rod approach here where I'm putting the PVC up, mounting it sturdy to the wall, and then I can just hang the individual or the, the Boscoyo strips with the four inch PVC on those. It'll make it a lot easier. I marked the center of a 10 foot piece of PVC and I centered it on the window. And then as close as I could find a stud on the left and right, and I don't think you can see that. Can you see it here yet? Yeah. So right there, I found a stud. And so I used one of the insert nuts to provide a good base for a bolt. And then just drilled through the PVC and put a little washer on there. And I've got a real long bolt on there right now. I'll probably shorten those bolts up once I get the everything hung on there. But I wanted to put a little space in between the wall and the PVC while I'm working on it. Over here, I got the same thing right there. Those are, I think, three inch bolts right now that I've got hanging out. And it also occurred to me that I'll probably need to put like a piece of wood or something in between the PVC and the wall because of the wood and the paneling. And then now I've gone further down with another piece. So you can see just the PVC itself. It kind of has a little sag right here. I think I'm going to go with 
three of those mount points per 10 foot piece of PVC. Obviously I can't do that here. In fact for here, right there, I'm probably going to have to mount something to the wall to hold that up. I've got this one done. I need to put a couple more in there and then I need to put this piece on. But then I'll have 30 feet and then I can start hanging the, the squoil strips. I'm measuring so that the four inch PVC sits right on the lip of that flashing right there. So that's how I'm measuring this all the way across and making sure that it's level. But here's what it looks like at night. To the untrained eye, those look just fine, but it's just missing that one little piece. They, they're just, they're not all uniform all the way across, and that's really what I wanted to go for. And I have an idea to fix that. I'm gonna try that, we'll see. But, and I know some of y'all are gonna go, oh, he's such a perfectionist. And I'm really not, I'm like 50%, you know? It, it can go, well, okay, 75% maybe. But I really, I'm not, Okay, 97.68385, but, but really, I'm not that big of a perfectionist. <laughs> okay, I've got one more thing I want to try on those lights, and then I'll make my decision as to how I'm going to go. Right now, it's really easy to set up and tear down with the PVC mounted to the wall. Uh, with the thing I'm going to try, it's going to be a very similar setup, but uh, should take care of a couple of other issues, so we'll see. I'll, I'll find out next week. But... I've also got some things coming in that I had been that have been on order for several months. I want to get started on that, and so we need to wrap this prototype thing up pretty quickly. Um, it's close. It's I mean we it would work as it is. It would be okay, but I, just a little just a little bit is what I want. Anyway, thanks for oh well. How would you mount it to the wall? I mean, I got a couple of people out there that, that watch these things. Do you have any ideas for that? Am I, am I going the wrong path here? Is there something much easier to do? Now, I did consider the little, uh, you know, you got the, the little clamp. So you, you've got your pipe, you've got the little thing that goes here. You put the screws like in that way and, and it holds it up against the wall. But the sun would eventually take those and then you have two holes in the wall and I didn't want that. Um, it'd have the same problem with the little clips that you would mount there and you stick that in there while well, these little fingers break after a year out in the sun. So I think I have a pretty good solution here, but if you have something better, let me know, please. I would love to hear it. But I do have one more solution that I'm going to try. So anyway, I hope you learned some information from this or you at least were entertained by this. And I think that's about it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. And all the dogs run. <laughs>